Parental discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show 307 and our brand new automatic crane for the camera. Uh, we're here, I'm sorry, right here at Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA, and uh, we got a hell of a show lined up for you. This is going to be an interesting one, guys. Uh, we got an interview coming up with the promoter of uh, River City Wrestling and a special surprise uh, from Alyssa Flash. Uh, so, uh, coming from the Wrestle Fan down in San Antonio, uh, who is not here. Because apparently the interview took everything out of him. Uh, mm -hmm. He's now in the hospital because he's had a four-hour erection. So uh, we wish him the best in in that situation. Uh, but with us is somebody's found Grandpa's Candice Day. DJ Lunchbox is here. <laughs> he was stabbing you on the shoulder. Was, is that what was happening? I was biting earlier. Yeah, he was biting earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Little Russell fan found Grandpa's candy stash. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Lunchbox, how you doing this week? What's up, hot dog? It is the uh, the one and only DJ Lunchbox, and uh, as we are approaching the eve of Chachi Plays, I uh, would like to go ahead and say MonsterHaiku.org. <laughs> there has been, there has been a, 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 a monopoly on charity organizations here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I don't get me wrong. I love and encourage ChachiPlays.com. Uh, it's fantastic. It's going to be a great event. It's coming this weekend. Uh, it's going to be spectacular. But then it will be over, and it will be time for uh, – that's right, down there on the uh, on the screen, MonsterHaiku.org. That's right. The book that I am releasing, all proceeds, go to the March of Dimes. I wrote it. Rachel Sager uh, illustrated and uh, – made it and uh josh sager uh did all the all the really difficult stuff dealing with the government and making so that we can pay it and not get or get paid for it and not get sued so uh like i said all proceeds go to march times books are 25 dollars. go and help some kids monster haiku dot org and also rejoining us is hot wheels how you doing oh, i'm doing great how's everybody doing tonight are you ready for some mayhem and also join us from Johnstown, PA, Bobby F. J. Town. Hey, since everybody's <coughs> plugging their charities, I just want to say I got two watches. That's the end of the show. That's, what uh, that's it. We're done. We're done. Let's, let's go on. Everybody goes home. And uh, over wow. on the couch is Chachi of ChachiPlays.com. So let me first start it off by saying uh, MonsterHaiku.org. Okay. Um, ah, my man. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong. I love what they're doing over there. But let's bring the focus back over to ChachiPlays.com, where today, <laughs> as of... I'm going to say 10.30-ish. We hit our $3,000 goal. There you go. Yay. There you go. But don't let that stop you from yes. donating. Because as Sorg said, you know what's better than $3,000? $4,000. So, you know, if you want to just kick me, you fucker. Seven. I'd be willing to donate one of my watches. <laughs> Can I just kick you? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so this weekend we sit down. Friday, 7 p.m. in downtown Pittsburgh at Toonzeum. And I will stop playing Saturday, 7 p.m. at Toonzeum in downtown Pittsburgh. Pee and smoke, smoke breaks, of course. Well, yeah, I'm allowed to. It, it, listen, the way I see it is if the Guinness Book of World, World Records allows you to accumulate time so you can take a goddamn nap on in a marathon, <laughs> then I'm allowed to get up every once in a while to stretch my legs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. that's it. That's what works. Because I don't sleep. Mm -hmm. And and if you need time, I have two watches. <laughs> <laughs> this is your wrestling mayhem show, of course. Sorg! Check out everything. Sorg! Yes, it's There's me. Sorg. I already introduced myself. <laughs> oh. I think I did. Uh, but yeah, hey, did. we're at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Follow us on Twitter at mayhem show. Uh, we of course call us. 
C- call us as well. But but first, I was going to say you can like us on Facebook. We have an open group Facebook. over there as well. Hey, as you well know who has page. a Facebook page? What? Who? Follow us on Twitter. Both Monster High Q and Chachi Plays. That is true. But have so Facebook pages. Wrestling Mayhem Show, where we have yeah. a lot of conversation going on uh, during the pay per views, <laughs> during Raw, and all the news that's coming out. You're during chatting. The week. Uh, and I'm chatting with Russell Finn, and don't <laughs> talk the ab- hospital. And he says, "Don't talk about my uh, my erection." Uh, and also, <laughs> you're over on Google Plus. Uh, it's blank. You also, you know, who has a Google <laughs> Plus page? Who has a Google Plus page? Monster Haikus. Uh, anyways, uh, so when that works, we have a Google Plus page where you yeah. can talk over there. We're doing hangouts every Monday night and some other times too. So, anyways, uh, by stretching <laughs> his legs, he means jerking off. Says Which is Riz. completely false. No. Uh, what? I said I mean, completely wait, false. I don't jerk off. Oh, uh, hey, uh, you can also email us at. Good times. Oh, that's how I like to hear it. Good times at wrestling uh, mayhem show dot com, four four one two two zero six WMS zero nine six seven zero nine six seven zero. You can follow us on. Uh, uh, hey, uh, subscribe to us on your iTunes, on YouTube, uh, not on MeVio anymore. <laughs> um. And you can also listen to us on any of your uh, mobile devices via Stitcher Radio at Stitcher.com. Wait, we're not on Mevio anymore? No, I'll explain to you later. Oh, you, I didn't talk to you about that yet. Um, but there goes all my views. Yep. Oh, fucked. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, also, we got an app that's like was, was a moment ago being shown off over there. Oh, there it is. There's the there WMS Gold app. Where you get some stuff that we do not post online anywhere else. <laughs> and sure. some exclusive content plus fast access to all the episodes and uh, all the ways to contact us here yes. on the show. Buying the app gets you all the stuff the government doesn't want to put want us to put on the internet. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's my phone. What? If the government cared? Uh, anyways. I- so. Great. Right, now we're getting caught off YouTube. Whoa. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know what happened. We have email. You opened your lightsaber. We have email. Or do we want to flip script and talk uh, about voicemail first? Get that out of the way. I think we should talk about Star Wars. (laughs) There it is. Hey, guess what I will... trying to bring up the gold this whole time. Oh, that's that's, that was... That's right there. Guess what I will not be doing this Friday. What will you not be doing? I will not be going to see Phantom Menace in 3D. Yeah. Okay. Fuck that. I will be at Toonzeum playing video games. Chachiplays.com. 4D. In 4D. Excellent. All right, we do have a voicemail. Let's get this out of the way here. Hey. 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 Good question. Good topic starter, but a little dated, but I've been thinking, and I'm curious. One of the first things I'm curious about is I'm on the chat room about two weeks ago, or maybe three, Russell fans said that you've seen one Roger Strong gave you Richard's match, you've seen them all. Now, I'm, I'd like to hear some elaboration on that, because I've actually, that's a common complaint I've heard. Uh, most recently, I heard, uh, talked to a uh, crestfallen fan that drove crestfallen? You know, to see two of the uh, Ric Flair Triple H matches in a span of about five months, and he said the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. Even though they were supposedly different matches, one was house show, one was pay-per-view. But, uh, you know what? For pay-per-view later. still, uh, you know, I've seen that before, because a lot of times when you go to the house shows, you'll see them do that very What's same the- match again. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, like on a coming oh, just- up on a coming up event. Because okay. uh, so, it seems like they kind of test run stuff like that. But other than that, I mean, hey, you you kind of have that when guys like that get together, you know, that you're like, oh, it's the same match. And and ROH travels a lot, you know, even though they're on DVD and everything, they they travel. Well, uh, even if you think about it, a lot of people they get they're comfortable with each other and they're gonna sit there and hey, if this works, this gets the crowd popping. Let's just keep doing the same thing. To a different crowd. Exactly. I mean, they may change a few little things, but mm. you never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I don't know. Maybe it's somebody that, that like watches a lot of ROH, you know, and they oh. notice these things. I mean, that's one thing. Um, dress dress rehearsal. I mean, how how different how different are you going to see? Um, you know, John Cena matches and everything like that. If we're tired, like every because every match looks the same, it's wrestling. How much are you going to vary it up? 
you know? Mm. So there's that. I moved again. Also, that shit just doesn't just happen. Okay. You know what I mean? You got to practice. That, you have to rehearse. It's yeah. a dress rehearsal, <laughs> like Saturday Night Live. Yeah. There you go. Yep. There you go. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it's going to happen. I'm sorry. What was the question? Um, <laughs> something about uh, 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 matches being the same. Oh, who was it? Who was he talking about? Davy Richards, Roderick Strong. Who did he say? Uh, I think it was Davy Richards and Roderick Strong. I I don't give a fuck about Roderick Strong. Davy Richards is still, uh, in my yeah. opinion, one of the best professional wrestlers. Anywhere. I agree. Yeah, and even if it's like similar, it doesn't mean it's going to be bad. No. He's a delight, and I wouldn't kick him out of bed. <laughs> I- Chewy did that. Okay. okay, there you go. Um, hey, you know who's not a good wrestler? Who? John Laurinaitis. <laughs> <laughs> and there's uh, there's Missy is joining us here in the studio. I was going to say, I see somebody. <laughs> slightly off camera. Hello. Um, that was a rough. I want daughters. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know. It, I think I think if these are the things that you're throwing out there, you're you're overanalyzing wrestling at this point. Yeah, you know what I mean. WMS. What? Oh, I started. Oh, reading started our I, I started <laughs> reading the email. We're moving on. He jumped the gun. Go he is digging ahead. <laughs> he got a little excited. Right. He wants to go to bed early tonight. Once once we get through all the normal <laughs> stuff, the show's over. We can leave. Why did you turn me down? Oh, you didn't turn me down. It just got uh, really quiet. Okay, everybody was listening. <laughs> okay, ready? WMS! Ow. I t- I, it couldn't have hurt. I pushed away the microphone. Anzi. <laughs> it's time once again to calm my spirits from the mayhem and get my fingers ready for my high noon encounter for Chachi Plays. Last year... I got my ass handed to me numerous times by the Chachers himself in Rocky Legends. Minus the legends not named Rocky. <laughs> uh, 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 to explain that, um, he had gone out earlier in the week and picked up uh, a PS2 game called Rocky Legends, which was obviously a Rocky-based boxing game. Well, having been brand new... He didn't bother to unlock anyone. Nobody was unlocked. <laughs> there there was, like, was there like six? six yeah, you, there were six different people, and oh, man. It, with us not being Rocky, was one of them the robot butler? No, and with us <laughs> with us not being Rocky, there was an Irishman, a white guy, a black guy, and I think a German guy. And a robot. It was raw. Butler. No, it was a boxing game, Rocky, and. uh yeah, so we just kept rotating between the four non-Rocky people. <laughs> <laughs> for an hour. Yes, for an hour. But I want to be Rocky. Um, so, uh, however, this time I have all the participants in place, and I have an ace up my sleeve. Seeing how this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and this is Chachi Plays Week, I think it's time to name my game for Chachi Plays. Uh-oh. In the last Terminal, month, please. I have not only partook in predicting Royal Rumble winners on WWE 12, but I have been practicing, and I have been honing my skills. This year, I want Chachi in the Royal Rumble. Dun, Pointing dun, dun, dun. to the sign is optional. Uh, we don't have the sign up right now. Right. This is my ear, sir. You can't handle me. Get some. Wrestling-related... All right, see if I can do this. Oh, you have to look at... Ready? Ready? What the fuck was that shit, Ra? You were trying too hard to promote a show that's 54 days away. Stop with the promos. (laughs) Nobody wants to see the same promo twice. Fuck you, Taker, and your stupid Dr. Claw chair. (laughs) Until next time, not WrestleFan... Riz. Oh my god. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow. wow. It was all only see, capitals. Only see has Dr. Claw chair. That was a that was a oh, that, that, I think you handled that appropriately then. Yes. Um let's see else <laughs> wow. Um we got one from Sonic Screwjob. Him. <laughs> Tonight's entree. Dibs. <laughs> Tonight's entree beaten dead horse with a side of regret. Oh. 
Salutations, Mayhem Commandos. It is a truly sad state of affairs when TNA claims the top honors for weekly, or weekly, W-E-A-K-L-Y, rather, very good English joke, content of our beloved episodic wrestling shows. I've always said TNA needs to stay on the road and out of the impact zone. A road crowd is real wrestling fans, and you can't fake that with the Universal Theme Park crowd. For those keeping score, quote, how to make things better. Britain was a full-blown arena, and it looked to be packed. I didn't hear or have the gumption to research, but I'd wager 20000 or better. So, good crowd, good matches, and with the exception of, quote, all my children the Bischoff years, simple, straightforward storylines that lets the talent shine. The good. Made for an average show. I'm sorry, above average show. I know TNA is just trying to recover on an investment, but I wish they would realize that Hogan and Bischoff are the modern-day equivalent of the, quote, Emperor's New Clothes. They bring nothing to the table but a, quote, nostalgic factor. And a company that's only seven years old doesn't need nostalgia or a, quote, Cracker Jack League gimping around in search of Al Bundy's lost glory from four touchdowns in a single polk high football game. 20, 20 points for reference. Good, good stuff. Uh, I know Hogan got Dixie on Entertainment Tonight and ESPN when he first signed, but the four dozen new fans that TNA gained pales to the actual fans that were alienated. Brother. TNA has flashes of brilliance, Root, Storm, Bully Ray, most of the Knockouts division and their willingness to try new talent, new things with the X division, Shima. But it pains me to watch them stand by while Hogan and Bischoff try to make lightning strike twice. And that was the bad. Oh, yeah, and there was a Raw this week, too. Let's see. Jericho finally shines. Punk's pipe bomb of silence was golden. 90 seconds of flatulent free divas action. Good to see AJ Lee on Raw, but I think the neck brace adds about 10 pounds. Brian can give an awesome match when he's not giving up one-eighth of a ton to his opponent. I hated seeing all the King's horses and all the King's men after Miz uh, botched the catch on R-Truth's dive. I hope the truth didn't get too bad. Didn't get got too bad. Have a great show, guys. Sonic Screwjob. P.S. I attached an observation to see if you guys agree. P.P. I'm sorry. P.S.S. Seeing Kofi in the title hunt reminded me that Evan Bourne probably isn't coming back. Pity. He was the best 175-pound wrestler since Peter Parker. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to show this uh, document appropriately because this is what it looks like in Google Docs. And that's all I have here. So, um, uh, but we do have. No, sir. I don't like oh. it. No, sir. I don't like it. That, that, that's, that's all I can really show you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know, there. know what's happening here. Um, see Big Show. Um, There's Big Show and Ren and Stimpy. Let's see if I can PDF yeah. it and it looks better. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy. Technical joy. difficulties here on the Mayhem Show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. If you wouldn't have said that, the audio listeners wouldn't have known. Well, no, yeah, I'm not having much luck here to either. Uh, I apologize. And I apologize for this formatting error. Um, so, so yeah. it is not your fault, sir. It's Google's fault. Yes. There you go. Damn you, Google. Okay, no, what else Riz's we got here? It it's a Riz's fault. It's not Riz's mail. I, I don't. <laughs> So, Sorg uh, WrestleFan is not here. He's been featured in Endeavor. Yes. And we wish him the owner. best. We do. We do. So, instead, for the indie minute, uh, we do have Bobby here. Bye. Of course. Okay, Bobby. Bobby. Let's see if you can do this. In a minute. It is called. Nervous. It is called the May or the the indie minute. You don't even know what it's called. I know. <laughs> I was gonna create a new name for it because it's Bobby and it's new. I was going to call it. Watches. I was going to call it the Mayhem Minute of Indie. That's why. That's why I got two watches. See, that's a lot better, isn't it? Than none. <laughs> that means he gets I'm two. You, you get two minutes. No, he gets get one minute. <laughs> he gets one minute. Oh, and, oh wait yeah, for okay. for the last one. Uh, it was uh, uh, a <laughs> song screech. He, he says, the top was Big Show Daniel Bryan, which he equates to Ren and Stimpy, and the comparison of John Laurinaitis to a horse. Which, <laughs> so visualize, and we're good. Uh, sorry, Horses are more useful. Go ahead, Bobby. And <laughs> okay, um, and one minute, and go. Big things happened in the AON this week. Okay. Uh, one notable return as ISP came back, and he's now an American citizen. 
<laughs> and he attacked Rand- he he attacked uh, Randall Fairway to um, let Sherrod Hall capture his first ever uh, A1 championship. Okay. Uh, and then the next week, our own friend of the show, Manchild, hmm. turned heel. Aww. He's a, he's a misguided boy. Hmm. And that that's all I have this week for the oh, report. Nice. There you go. So there you that's go. the indie wrestling minute, I guess. Until it was 30, 35 seconds long. Yeah. Hot damn! Oh man, and amazing! Some other stuff we're gonna be talking I cut, about. I'm efficient. I cut it in half. <laughs> <laughs> but he saved us time. There's a that revenge is 30, of a fan. That is 36. Se- what? What? <laughs> no, fuck that! <laughs> I didn't agree to this. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. We have to. We have to play this one. No, we Chachi. don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. We, oh, it's good, Chachi. It is good. It is you good. hit it's that play it. button, and I'm taking this, control. This is where he got his four hour erection. The, you, you hit that play button. You hit that play button. I'm taking control. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we got a special report from the <laughs> wrestling fan as my camera is shifting. <laughs> oh! It's leaving you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, but no, wrestle fan. Of course, uh, he's been attending. Of course, the River City Wrestling shows down in San Antonio area, and uh, there's some big news coming out of that this week. And uh, we'll let the wrestling fan tell you about that here right now. Here's his report. Hello Wrestling Mayhem Show fans, this is the Wrestle Fan here at It's Time For for River City Wrestling. I'm standing here with friend of the show, Brandon Oliver, promoter, owner, man of all trades for River City Wrestling. How do you think the show went tonight? It went really well, you know, we drew a really great crowd, you know, San Antonio, uh, we were San Antonio's brand of professional wrestling, and that's one thing RCW prides itself on is community awareness, really getting out there, so we got some crazy fans walking in yeah. there. <laughs> Watch out, guys! I'm shooting an interview. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, River City Wrestling is San Antonio's brand of wrestling, and, and uh, you know, we pride ourselves in the community, the community service that we do, and it, it pays off. You know, it pays off. Where it, it's really disheartening to watch guys wrestle in front of mom, dad, and a few friends, and you know, and 20 people in the crowd. You know, and so we try to you know get out there as much as we can. You know, the media, the community. And the results are there. You know, the matches were, were pretty good tonight. Um, there was you know, two or three very, very good ones. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of, you know, uh, young talent that is really up and coming and, and with some polishing, that'd be great. Yeah, definitely. I, I would say, packed house tonight was the biggest show I've ever seen as far as crowd goes. Main event, Melissa Flash, uh, Minister Rick David tore the house down. It was I mean, awesome. It, it spilled out all over the arena. They really took it to each other. And, uh, now, Alyssa Flash, you were the first ever Triple Crown uh, River City Wrestling Champion. Right. You know, Flash made history by being the first female to win the RCW Championship. And, and from what I understand, the first female to hold a promotion's top title. Now, I'm sure there's an indie somewhere out there in the vast <laughs> universe that has done that, but I mean, the only people I could think of was like China, which is the new kind of title, and that, that was the secondary title. So I had never really seen a female hold the top title in the company and, and, and be the face of the company. And that's what Flash has done. And she's, you know, won the tag team championship and then tonight she won the international championship. Great match that literally went all over the place there at the Good Shepherd. And uh, you know, and, and she's awesome. You know, she just came back from India and you know, one of the top women's wrestlers in the world, eight number six in Peter Dubai. So, you know, hey, we got another come on in, man. Come on. Okay. Come on. It's all right. Yeah. Uh, still normal time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, good one. Yeah, good one. So uh Alyssa Flash, you know, made history once again tonight and you know it's gonna be a true international star. That film has actually been defended in Japan uh, for a couple of years. How are y'all doing? We've got more fans here. Um, so that belt's actually been defended in Japan. It's faded in Japan for like two years. And uh, you know, various talent and health over in Japan. And we brought it back and then now Alyssa Flash. There she is right there. Uh, she didn't have to just walk into. <laughs> Big win tonight. Oh, very good. <laughs> yeah, so I'm happy about it. He runs Wood Wrestling. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. So yeah, the big win. You took it. You took it to Rick David all around this. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. Match. Mm-hmm. I think I still have some of the nachos you played on your shoe. Oh, you yeah. mean the, the nacho cheese that's in my hair? Yeah. <laughs> my hair? I can't even brush this out right now. This is so disgusting. Well, it all comes with a good day's work. Oh yeah, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at this. Oh man, yeah. it's everywhere. Yeah. I know. Everywhere. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It's only a flare. 
Yeah. Hey, River C. Rust, you never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen. It's going to walk through the door, what's going to get in your hair, what's going to get all over the arena. Chairs, ladders, and everything in between. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Where those ladders came from? Yeah. I pulled one down, there was one behind it. I pulled that one down, there was another one. What else I going to do? It was like a domino effect of ladders. Yeah. It was, I've never seen that before. So thank, well, thank you for this. You come to it. My pleasure. My pleasure. Glad I walked into this. We lost our little kid. Our student in us like forever. Congratulations. Um, so Brandon, uh, if you want to check out RCW Wrestling, where can you go? Where can you find me on the internet? Uh, so RCW-Wrestling.com. It's got our link to our Facebook, our link to our Twitter from there, uh, and our crazy, crazy YouTube video page with all kinds of crazy YouTube videos. That's another thing RCW is known for: <laughs> their crazy videos. And uh, you know, so check us out. You know, if you're in the San Antonio area, come check us out. You won't be disappointed. It's a true show for the entire family, you know. Definitely. Um, you know, we got something for literally every fan. There's comedy, there's drama, there's hardcore, there's silliness, there's seriousness. It goes all over the place, you know. We don't try to stick to one stop. So. That's very cool. So definitely check it out at RiverCityWrestling.com. Go to your next event, which is right. March 3rd. March 3rd. I'm here at the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church, and I'm going to send it back to everyone in the studio. Yeah. Thanks. All right, thanks, WrestleFan, for the awesome interviews from the RCW show that you went to. Uh, so last week, when I wasn't here, apparently the guys decided to try to contact the EWF, the Extreme Wrestling F Federation, to uh, get booked. Uh, and if you missed the show, apparently WrestleFan found this uh, notebook paper mm -hmm. stapled to a cork board mm -hmm. um, that had a basically a full wrestling show booked mm -hmm. and it said that if you wanted to wrestle to uh email or call the guy max slavin and so we're gonna like we didn't get a response from the uh from the the email so we're gonna call him Please leave your message for eight six five three zero seven four zero seven four. Sorry, that mailbox is full. Oh. Please call again later. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. Aww. Damn it. No. I had a name. I had, I was going to be John the Sledgehammer Bonner, and I was going to be a shoot fighter slash submission specialist. And it would, it was my whole gimmick of, uh, it would be kind of like Jimmy DeMarco only as a submission specialist. Like, I would come out with, like, a cucumber in my tights. <laughs> <laughs> and so all of these submission moves would be extremely awkward because it'd be, look like my boner was getting in the way. <laughs> so apparently this has made the rounds that, <sighs> that you can't get to it anymore. I, <laughs> I, I, I just wonder what they're going to do with all these messages on the other end there. So Damn it. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, call back. <laughs> we'll have to keep trying. Exactly. Exactly. No, I want them to call us back. Oh, I want to get booked. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, on that oh, note, man. then let's toss it to a little bit of what you guys can expect over on Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold App and uh, and we'll. Be oh wait, that wasn't gold. I remember when? <laughs> Justify spending that much on a Chachi Play spell. I'm sorry. <laughs> like I, fifteen hundred dollars plus shipping and handling. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I'm, I wish them the best in this. I, I lost. I know, I'm working on it. Uh, I I wish them the best in his future endeavors, and now he's not here. <laughs> yeah. so, can we stop talking about her cookie I'd love for her not to kill me at the next show <laughs> that's right man. I tell you what man
What's up, hot dog? It's DJ Lunchbox here, back for you on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, uh, the episode where we're doing more gold content than we are actual content. <laughs> um, but not gold for you, the listener and the viewer, and uh, you wonderful little meat creature uh, watching and listening to the show. For you, I'd like to take you to a segment called, remember when... The year, 1993. The dark match, Billy Gunn versus the Brooklyn Brawler. He wasn't Mr. Ass. He wasn't Kip James. That's right. He was a fucking cowboy. <laughs> Survivor Series, 1993. Do you remember it? I sure as fuck do. Why do I remember it? Because of the main event. The main event is what I remember, which brought me to the Wikipedia page, which reminded me of all the other crazy fucking matches. Let's talk about the main event. The All-Americans. The All-Americans. The four Amer- the original American, American, Americans. Now, I'm going to tell you this lineup, and I think you'll agree with me that these are the most American motherfuckers that have ever happened. Lex Luger. Yes. Rick and Scott Steiner. Yes. Oh, my God. And, finally, the most American of all professional wrestlers to ever happen, The Undertaker. Huh? Why? The American Badass. That's right. They were, of course, with Paul Bear versus the Foreign Fanatics. And if I remember correctly, uh, up in the old Lunchbox Dome, uh, I think this lineup changed a bunch all the way up until the actual match. But either way, it was uh, Yokozuna. Crush, who is oh, one of my favorites. And I think a bad guy yeah, it was from time. Hawaii. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he was a bad guy at the time. Uh, uh, Ludwig Borga. Yes. Who is Polish and chubby. Ludwig and Borga. One Quebecer. Jacques. One <laughs> Quebec. They had almost as many managers as they did wrestlers on their team because they were managed by Jim Cornette, Mr. Awesome. Fuji, and that's right, folks. On pay per view, Johnny Polo. Uh. <laughs> now, let me tell you a little bit, a little bit about this undercard, because wow. Um, first off, you had uh, the four. This I want. No, when I say first off, I mean this was the semi main event. The four doinks. None of which were actually doink. It was the bushwhackers and men on a mission dressed up as <laughs> fucking doink. Yes. And they defeated this, oh my god, all-star team. You ready for this? The Head Shrinkers, Bastion Booger, and Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh, Bastion Booger was my hero. Holy shit. Uh. Okay. <laughs> But uh, aside from that, um, you had uh, just a, a, a classic tag matchup, tag team match for the SMW Tag Team Championship. That's right, the Heavenly Bodies versus the Rock and Roll Express. Nice. Wow. Uh, aside from that, you had the Hart Family versus Shawn Michaels and his Knights, which if I remember correctly, <laughs> it was supposed to be Jerry Lawler and his Knights. But who the fuck knows what happened there? Um, <laughs> so you had Bruce Owen, uh, uh, Keith, and Brett, of course, uh, with Stu ringside. And then you had Shawn Michaels with the Red Knight, the Blue Knight, and the Black Knight. Power now Rangers? here's Me. The, the half hour match that stole the card. Classics four on four survival series, Survivor Series elimination style match. Marty Jannetty, Randy Savage, Razor Ramon, and the one, two, three kid. That's right, uh. X Pac. But he was still the one, two, three kid. Beating Erwin <laughs> R. Scheister, Rick Martell, Diesel, and Adam Baum. The uh. wrestling fans of today would shit their pants for such a match. <laughs> I, I wouldn't understand it. I, especially when Razor Ramon did a choke slam on IRS, as I'm seeing here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Fantastic. 
so that's 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 what I remember. And I also want to throw out the next year in Survivor Series 1994, there was the Undertaker versus Yokozuna in a casket match with Chuck Norris. Yes. <laughs> that why the fuck that match was? was oh, for the days. Why was well? Chuck Norris was on the highlight video, I think, uh, when they just did the anniversary uh, show. So yeah, well, they were in Texas, and yeah, that's true. Know. That's true. It's just it's proof goes to show you that anything can happen here on. Remember when? <laughs> Thank you, LB. Let's go to another segment here with Mad Mike's Minute of Mayhem. All right, nobody talk directly at the end of this, as I think WrestleFan has the last couple weeks, because that is a problem for me to edit. Okay. All right. We'll be quiet. Oh, you can talk during it, but don't go into something, like, directly off of it. Just give me, like, a second. Okay. Let it finish. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Survivor Series 93 is still playing. Boy, man, Mike sounds oh, by like the way, Vince McMahon. <laughs> by the way, here's the entire three hours of the Survivor Series on YouTube. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. How is that happening? That's that's uh that's the lifted uh uh restraints on people's accounts. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> say holy shit. Alright, Mad <laughs> Mike, here we go. Hey there Mayhemers, it's Mad Mike here once again with your minute of mayhem. Uh so Raw last night was well, it was video package heavy. Um, and I know we usually rag on TNA for doing stuff like this, but there wasn't much wrestling last night in Raw. I mean, granted, the six-pack challenge was fun, but it was really just kind of a prelude to Elimination Chamber. Um, now, the Jericho Punk promo was very good. Uh, Jericho finally talking again, and he didn't really get much heel heat. That changed by the end of the night, but uh, I think we can agree that Punk's, you know, arrive, pipe bomb, leave was pretty funny. And if their WrestleMania feud is going to be trying to do each other's gimmicks better than the, better than each other, that could be a lot of fun. Um, I think it's also sad to say that we are definitely going to get Triple H or Sarantiger again. Um, so much for any possible Kane interaction. It looks like Kane's probably going to be going up against Zack Ryder. Or, you know, if there's a Money in the Bank match, which there's probably going to be. Um, maybe Kane and Ryder will be in that. Um, and it looks like Sheamus is going to be challenging the winner of the SmackDown Elimination Chamber, which I think we all can agree uh, should be anyone but Great Kali. Um, it, it's really a little disappointing that, like, Sheamus and Daniel Bryan, it's, it'll be interesting considering they were left off the WrestleMania card last year, and they could very well be fighting for the world title this year. Especially since the shame, the Daniel Bryan heel turn has been going so well. Um, I don't know how that'll hold him with Sheamus. But it will be interesting to watch. Um, and I think I figured out how this rumored Shaquille O'Neal versus Big Show match is going to take place. Apparently Shaq is hosting the uh, Nickelodeon Kings of Game Award or something like that. And there's a category for Best WWE Superstar. I wouldn't be surprised if Big Show's presenting the award and he and Shaq get into it a little bit. I mean, weirder things have happened especially with Wrestlemania angles. Yeah, so that's about it for me this week. Uh, take care. Spike your hair. It's Mad Mike for your minute or so of mayhem. Uh, but, uh, hey, what do you think about any of that, though? Uh, we're going into Elimination Chamber here, and, uh, my God, was there not much on Raw last night except for about that. Yeah, that, that was, was just... Rough. I think it was more entertaining in the Google chat than it was in <laughs> Raw. <laughs> you know, okay, you're putting yourself over there, but, uh... Not talking about all of us. <laughs> Not all it about rough. me. It was, it was, oh. and, and the matches they did have were SmackDown matches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where did did the Raw roster like get stuck in another country again or something? <laughs> exactly. The, the, the first half of Raw gets one star. Mm-hmm. The second half of Raw 
I'd give about three and a half to four. Because mm-hmm. it was actually pretty good the second half. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. didn't yeah. mind all the promos and stuff like that because up. they were actually good. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and, and looking at that main event and the people they had in there, uh, you know, we complain a lot about guys that have been on top for a while or, or whatnot that, you know, can't really do much. That six-pack challenge had a pack of guys that were good, that, that mm-hmm. could do a lot of shit and put out a really good match. That's a yes. really good preview for what we're going to get at Elimination Chamber. You don't yeah, have any, this is botching yeah. a lot of shit. You don't well, yeah. Other than that, but you don't yeah. have a lot of people that are going to be bogging that match down. I, I think we might have might be set up to see uh, one of the best elimination chambers yet. Yeah. Versus the other one that might be one of the roughest elimination <laughs> chambers yet. Uh, mm. The raw one is all of the younger guys with Jericho. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Exactly. And Jericho. I mean, was, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah, and Jericho can still go. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's great to see, you know, um, but it definitely like oh, I think it was, somebody was mentioning on Twitter or, or maybe it was one of you guys in the chat in the hangout last night. But, you know, that was a really bad raw for you to be going live to. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that, I think that they is, all said that. <laughs> that was the worst feeling like being there. You spent all this money to sit there and watch a giant video screen for half the night. Or yeah, if I could have been a fly on the wall away. when those people walking out of the arena going. I need my money back or something. Yeah. Or and also, and also interesting. So John Cena was nowhere that night. Yeah. Except for video packages, he was in the dark match yeah. afterwards. He we, mm. he was in the dark match afterwards. So it's really weird that they didn't put him on TV. But I don't know. Maybe uh, he was he was he in the car. Got to rest up. <laughs> I, I guess so. I guess so. It, it didn't have anything for him. Wait. He's got to rest up. For the Daytona 500, he's waving the oh, green flag. Oh, I see, I see, yeah, I see. So I don't know. It, it was it was just kind of a weird thing for them to do for like their kind of top guy there. Um, yeah, I want to. Yeah. Can I throw this out here real quick, just for the sake of my parents because they're fans? But this is what I have to say to Carl Edwards. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and for audio, well, you have to watch the video. <laughs> for audio fuck you <laughs> that was flag sorry. waving is the sixth move oh. of doom <laughs> <laughs> so um so yeah I, I, there's really not much to say about rock because there wasn't really much to it so um oh there was a cena edwards backstage spot they could have filmed in a walmart parking lot oh yeah that uh, wasn't yeah. that from last time or something no that was tna hmm. i don't know i i, I don't know I had, tr- I had it trouble. It said last week, but they didn't show anything last week. Yeah, yeah. But, anyways, um, so there's that. And of course, there's the Twitter flame war going on between The Rock and John Cena, which has now made it onto the show. Rise um, above Majesty. But the most interesting thing was uh, John Cena saying that apparently The Rock doesn't like homosexuals or secondary education. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? You know what's a, a really good way to uh, build an angle? Trolls. Yes. <laughs> On this page, you can download. Oh God! Oh God! There's Whoa. a bad ad. Sorry about Congratulations. that. Congratulations. Speaking of trolls. <laughs> and then there's a uh, uh, Chris Jericho saying that he trolled the audience. <laughs> 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 so. Um, <sighs> Speaking of trolls, where's Swanswoggle? <laughs> Uh, but anyway, the only person in America who's asking themselves that. Yeah. <laughs> so, where's Hornswoggle said? You guys are lucky, mm-hmm. but I just scoured the house looking for a dry erase marker and came up empty. <laughs> so, <laughs> the uh, scoreboard's gonna have to wait. Okay. Okay. And to know what, and to know what it, he's yeah. talking about, you're gonna have to watch something that's not here. <laughs> Listen to gold. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be gold. I might be uh, doing something oh. else with that part of it, at least. Um. Right. But anyways, uh, mayhem after dark. I'm thinking, man. I'm thinking there's going to be a new uh, segment. So we're trying to media after dark, or, or I can't call it that because that's what somebody else does. But uh, mm-hmm. keep an eye out for that. Um, Can well, Chachi do the viewer discretion advice? <laughs> viewer <laughs> discretion advice. <laughs> Missed the word there, but so this is some other. Here's some. Uh, it is advised. I think it is. Oh. Anyway, oh. <laughs> so here's another one. Uh, you know Chris Christopherson? Yep. 
Yeah? Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> how the fuck are you going to... No, I'm really interested now, because how the fuck is Chris Christopherson going to work into this show? Well, no, of him. his son... Or is it daughter? Now, son. his son... <laughs> well, you'll see in a second. Jody Christopherson is training in FCW. FCW. Easy for you to say. Well, TMZ is right next to it, so so it fucked me up. Uh, so yeah, how about that, LB? That's awesome. Is what that is. <laughs> did we talk about? Uh, I fucking love Chris Christopherson. Uh, Chris Hero. <laughs> no, we did not get to that yet. But I'm while sorry. we're on the development developmental side of things, but Chris Hero has finally been signed to FCW, uh, joining uh, uh, Claudio Castagnoli, who is now uh, Antonio Cesaro, I think it, they're calling him now. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. So Kings of Wrestling together again. I guess there were some medical issues. I don't um, think they're going to have him as a tag team. Not likely. Not, I, I mean, I don't know. It depends. They should, though. They, yeah, we need chemistry. tag teams. They do. They do, desperately. Um, but I... I thought I heard that he he was out of it because of steroids or something like that. Maybe because they heard something medical. Uh, I'm not sure. But uh, well, the story I read said that was he was um, you know uh, out because of medical issues. So honestly, anyway. if they do it right, what was that, Wheels? Oh, what I was going to say was if they do it right, they could just keep him Chris Hero because and do a vignette saying WWE needs a hero. That'd be amazing. But you know they're going to want to own the name, and that's why they yeah. need to change it. But what, you were going to say something, LB? I was going to mention that, uh, uh, speaking of Chris Hero, uh, he's been keeping himself busy with a uh, certain little project mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this that's is, uh, this is something making waves. And this is something we've seen leaked out for a while. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, was that Mission Impossible? No. What's well, going on a mission? There's a lot of familiar faces there. Now, now you've been following us here, uh, LB. What, what's going on with this? What, it's, what is it's this? Very, it's very, very interesting to me, um, the way they're going about this. It's called the Wrestling Retribution Project. Um, it's a here's, – here's what it says about them um, on their website. Wrestling Retribution Project is a professional wrestling television program developed by uh, Jeff Katz. Who isn't he in front of the show? I think he. I think that's the guy. Yeah. Have, yeah. I think yeah. we're in front of the show. Uh, uh, founded in 2011, the promotion is based on a 13-week serial schedule. Upon completion of production, the program will be distributed by Image Entertainment and will be available via streaming media and DVD. Uh, their website is WrestlingRetributionProject.com, and what it looks like is, uh, like they say, it's it's 13 episodes, and it's very. Um, you know, beginning, middle, and story driven. Um, and acts. there is, uh, what's that? Let's say there are acts in this. There's like three exactly. acts. Exactly. And there's a lot of, a lot of people that, uh, that you're going to recognize. Um, yeah. Uh, amongst the cast is, um, Sammy Callahan playing a, a character named Sam Johnson, Scott Colton, AKA Colt Cabana, uh, Hassad Has, I'm sorry, Hassan Assad, AKA MVP. Um, uh, Ken Dwayne, uh, aka Kenny Dykstra. Uh, mm-hmm. There's also Drew Hackinson, uh, aka Luke Gallows. Uh, Amazing Red is going to make an appearance. Um, Joey Ryan. Uh, I can't tell if these are their real names or their character names, but it doesn't fucking matter. Um, Joey Ryan, like every- his uh, usual name. Yeah, um, everybody. Everybody has a character. Everybody a has a storyline. Uh, Davari looks to be uh, involved. It it looks really interesting and something that um, yeah, like it's it's a new and different take on wrestling that uh, it really it's got my attention. So I would just like to point out that if you go back Ow. and you replay the video, uh, a guy does the Sin Cara entrance from the the ground with. Out a trampoline. Yeah, but there's a there's a walkway there. It's a ramp. Yeah, still. No trampoline. <laughs> he just dives in the ring. <laughs> but oh, there's so Sam, yeah, that's there's, that. And there's Sammy Callahan's character there. Oh, I didn't have him brought up. Chris Hero is involved as well. Yes, uh, I didn't see Chris Hero in the in the uh, promotion video uh, pictures they have here. Yeah, I, he's not he's not in the cast list, but he is uh, he is in the video. So there's actually a guy called Brick Shithouse. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. I think, I think that's Hero Chris Hyde. That yeah, looks kind of like him. So. Oh yeah. 
but like it's beard uh, craziness. It's interesting. I, I'm really intrigued by this. <laughs> There's someone called BBC. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if he's not, if his character Shit. is not from England, I am disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's definitely one to look out for. But it's nice to see that it's going to be on streaming as well as DVD, so it's going to be very accessible. Um, so, and I, I want to get my hands on. It. I want to see what's what's going to be about. It, it's it's been it's the most one of the more intriguing things I've seen in wrestling. Yeah, uh, at least leading up to it for their build. And I know they they've been uh, leaking out these photos and these characters for weeks on uh, like some geek site. Uh, you know, not your usual kind of wrestling place. I think like it's not on your wrestle zones or your pro wrestling dot nets or anything like that. Any of the you know wrestling observers or anything. It's it's on a like an entertainment website. Um, so it, it feels like it's doing uh, what Wrestling Society X should have done. Yeah. yeah. Really? It, it kind of feels like that, like a more mature version of something like that. And I want to say maybe Katz was part of that one as well. Um, because it was I think part he of, was. Cause he, Wasn't, he was the announcer. He might have been. Yeah, I think he was. Because, well, the DVD was put out by Big Vision, and he was a part of that when we, were, when we talked to him uh, you know, a while ago. So... I definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, the, well, the website's WrestlingRetributionProject.com if you want to take a look at what they have there. There's not too much. There's stuff about the production team, the photos that we were just showing, the about, I think, that you just read off, and a little bit about the cast. Uh, now, this is interesting, too, because you go to the production team, and there's the pictures of Lance Storm and Tommy Dreamer. Nice. That's intriguing. So, um... I, let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. I, Geek Week is... A, most of this stuff... Links to geekweek, uh, dot com. Yeah. So, yeah. which is, you know, not again, not what you would expect the wrestling to be. Are they allowed to do on. that? What? Uh, well, the, the, most of the articles about it are released on this website. No, I mean, Tommy Dreamer. I thought he was. No, he's not attached to anything right now. I thought he was backstage. So he was, uh, well, he was, he left WWE and they did a stint last year with, uh, TNA and he's been uh, pretty much free agent, I think for now. So, yeah. Yeah. He's been yeah, doing I his web series. He's been doing. Yeah, he's he's got his own web series, but um, <laughs> other than that, um, other you know something else interesting. I didn't put in the, the rundown, but I noticed this week, um, Chikara uh, via Smartmark Video, um, who's uh, somebody I'm going to keep an eye on for a few reasons. It'll be revealed here soon, hopefully. Um, they're actually letting you get. Uh, I think starting with Joshi Media. You can buy digital versions of these events now where you'll go buy. I haven't looked into it. I don't know if there's any DRM, how they do it. How they send you it. You send it or something. I'm not sure. And I, I love to talk to them, see how they're doing this. Um, but you you purchase your your show and they send you an MP4 file. That's that's amazing. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, aren't we kind of tired of having to like spend and, and they're like, I think they're nine ninety nine each. I want to try to pull up the email here. Uh, real quick, but uh, from what I was seeing, they're ni- they're nine ninety. Here it is. Download all three nights of Yoshi Mania. I uh, hope I'm saying that right. Uh, but they have a digital media section, uh, and I really think that more pro wrestling should do this because I, I mean, well, of course, we talked about before. There's these all you eat all you can eat packages with like Ring of Honor, WWE, TNA that you can buy online now um, for the on demand stuff. But now. You know, this makes it way more accessible. I'm more willing to buy this, to be honest, than I was to buy a DVD for five dollars plus shipping and handling more, which is going to be. I mean, it's almost twenty dollars per DVD. Actually, they may yeah. sell them for twenty dollars, actually, brand new. But I'll I'll drop ten bucks on a Chikara video file. You know what I mean? Honestly, I think indie, just any indie promotion, ought to go for something like that. I mean, DVDs, like you said, if you order them or anything like that. It's usually costing like twenty dollars for a fifteen dollar DVD or something like that. Mm-hmm. You get like a little program that has maybe your iPhone or your Android device, and, or your computer, and you say, "Hey, I want to order that show on my digital device." And boom, it's easy for what they said. What five ten dollars? Yeah, this one they're going for nine ninety nine for the Chikara events here. There's a couple other like IWA. I, I think I saw in here. Um, but there's not, I, I actually, I think I want to buy one of these and test it out and see how the quality is and everything. See how, um, see how, uh, smart mark video is doing this, you know? Um, and actually here, right beside it, best sellers, here's, here's, they are going for $15 for the Chikara DVDs that it looks like they have here. Um, and that's over smartmarkvideo.com. They have, uh, one, they have Necro Pro, they have, uh, 
Wrestling is fun out of Fountain Hill, PA. <laughs> um, Wrestling is fundamental. A bunch more Chikara shows, including King of Trios. That's cool. Uh, I would rather pay $30 for all three nights of uh, King of Trios in digital form than the 45 that would be for DVDs. That's for sure. Uh, Dude, without without exaggerating, I can say that Louis C.K. changed everything. Exactly. Exactly. And I, I, I really doubt that there's DRM on these things. So you're probably just getting an MP4 file that I could do anything with. You know, yeah. Grant, Grant, I could go and throw it out on, on the BitTorrents. I'm sure a lot of these are already popping up on the BitTorrents. But if you, you find put, a torrent if, site anymore, yeah, if you can find one anymore, that's worthwhile. And the Pirate Bay guy, it's going to jail now. But this makes it more accessible. Site's I can get it. Up, I can get it now. Yeah, of course, sure. I, I can get it now instead of waiting two weeks and having to worry about that. And who has a DVD player anymore? Um, right. I use me Xbox 360. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, have, yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Actually, <laughs> you know, um, I was gonna say you have one. It's on your Xbox. Exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> And in all of our computers. Yes. <laughs> I'm sitting at a That's... desk with three of them. <laughs> of Honestly, hours. Sonic Screwjob does make a good point about it. It's digital is the best chance indies have to make it for a great impulse buy. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Other than at the shows, because whatever accessibility right. is, is it that you have? Uh, you know, of course, you know, we're working with, you know, your group there, RWA and IWC here locally. And we're trying to figure out what are different ways for people to access this. I, yeah. know, I know for, um, you know, we're going to be testing some stuff there at that RWA show this month. But for IWC, I know, you know, you are insane if you don't have a credit card reader at an indie show. Yeah. Because hey, you walk in there, you hope that these people brought enough cash on hand and had the forethought to do that, and and versus you know seeing something at a table and and wanting to buy it, you know. I I mean honestly, I think you're the first one since you started doing it for us that uh that people could buy DVDs with their cards. I mean, it's like so you said, sensible. how many people are going to carry their all that cash with them to buy a DVD, a shirt? Mm-hmm. food mm-hmm. all this mm-hmm. which that would make it so much easier maybe i could there's suggest that for even a concession there's no atm in the gymnasium right so, <laughs> you know where, where you're going to see an indie show you know i mean unless you're going to like say wwe's you know uh, events at a, at a console energy there's going to be an atm there that will rape you um yeah. <laughs> other than that you know versus i was um i, I was in the the strip here in pittsburgh the other day and i uh, i bought a like a silver ring from a street vendor mm-hmm. and uh i i you know, said, I don't have any cash on me. Can I wait till I run to an ATM? And he's like, oh, I take cards. And I was like, oh, great. So I pulled out my card. He pulls out his iPhone. He pulls out his square, plugs mm-hmm. it in, and mm-hmm. boom, it was done. Within yeah. five minutes, I had my mm-hmm. ring, and I had a text message with my receipt in it. Seriously, any of you guys, I, I, mean, I don't know if there's there's many for pro wrestlers or anything out there, but if you're, you're selling shirts, you're selling swags, uh, you're selling DVDs for your promotion at any of these shows, <sighs> it's squareup.com. It, it, we've been using it. We used it as our cash register when we did the cafe until recently. We're using it at these shows. It's gone over over 50% of our sales for the DVDs were from credit card sales. And, and you know, a PWO, we went up there and they were buying, t- WrestleFan, I, I, I think, had to pick up and rerun his ticket or something. People were buying tickets right there at the door and they were using Square to process those credit cards. It's accessible for, you know, mm-hmm. it, you know it, it, there's not much, you know, you know, I say there's not much money in indie or, you know, being a professional wrestler or anything. Yeah. anything. But this breaks down a barrier for you guys out there. And I really think it's something that, that, that you should pay attention to, you know. Just like, you know, guys out there using YouTube to get themselves, you know, over and in, in noticed and everything. This is a way for you guys on the ground level to be like, to, to keep it accessible. Because how many people have a credit or debit card? How many people don't carry cash on them anymore? Exactly. And a lot of your stuff is a is an impulse buy. I If a lot of wrestlers took credit cards, I would have a lot more uh, indie t-shirts right now. I can, oh, yeah. I can guarantee you that. But it's like, well, I brought 20 bucks and your thing's 15, but if I went to this guy over here, I can get two of his DVDs. And, and instead of, it's like, well, okay, or I brought 20 bucks because I was going to buy your DVD for 15, but now you're running the sale to, you know, buy two, get one free. I don't have right. the extra 10 bucks to do that. Now I can do that, or I'm buying more than I thought I was going to, you know. It, it, it's just a it, kind of a kind of a wake-up call, I hope, for, for people in the industry there. Um, yeah. 
that was a really interesting rat hole as well. Uh, but, <laughs> but you know, but this is this is the way to do it, and and I really hope, and I hope, I, you know, I don't know how smart Mark is with doing online stuff like this is. Uh, and, and that's the question. Somebody has to prove your, prove themselves because we're seeing stuff like this and Click Wrestle. I know is out there, and there's some other sites that have have a little bit of this this thing going on. But I love to see more of this happen because it's. I think I think all these guys are going to be making more money off of this, and 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 hopefully, because uh, I know making D, make, making DVDs is a pain in the ass. Printing that shit's a pain in the ass. Somebody has to sit there and do it unless you're sending it to a duplicator. And good luck having the money for that at this point. So. <coughs> But Plus all that, that, uh, like the ink for the DVDs and the mm-hmm. DVD mm-hmm. covers and all that. Tell me about it. Uh, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said it. <laughs> Other than that, uh, there was another. Uh, I know we're diving a little bit of some interesting outside the box indie stuff, actually. Uh, but this is this is interesting. And then uh, Wheels, this is actually uh, again involving your group a little bit here. Uh, uh, the pro wrestling versus yes, zombies. Yes, the wrestling versus zombies. Uh, there is a Kickstarter going on. Here's a little clip from it here. You can check it out at, uh, just look up pro wrestlers versus zombies on Kickstarter. It'll come right up. I don't know if there's any kind of quick link for it. Uh, we've been tweeting it out. It's over on our, our Facebook page, but this is a little bit of like a preview, uh, uh, thing that they shot, uh, down on RWA, uh, a few months ago, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you, if you've been over there, rwalive.com, you see a zombie attacking wheels. Um, <laughs> but this is some of the product right here. just kind of a, I guess a proof of concept and they're on Kickstarter trying to raise the money to do it. And as you see here, they got, um, uh, Shane Douglas involved in it. Uh, according to this, they're looking to bring in, uh, Raven. Uh, let's see. They have a few other names listed here as well. But, Terry Funk. Uh, Terry Funk is is uh, going to be attached to the project. Uh, Larry Zabisco um, and Taya Parker, the 2009 Penthouse Pet of the Year, um, oh. and also with winner of season three, Bus of Love. Oh. Uh, also, Raven oh. are looking to get Rowdy Roddy Piper and Richard Pryor Jr. Yeah. So, um, I love my phone. I. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Oh, well, that so, was off track. <laughs> go check that out. I mean, they already got 26 by- backers and over $1,000 down there. Um, I believe, uh, I heard Shane Douglas say this, and I think it's if you submit uh, $1,500 or more, according to this, uh, you will get a part fe- as a featured zombie and a guarantee to be killed on screen and a de- on, a, on a day uh, on the set. Uh, and uh Yeah. <laughs> and I, at one point, I think Shane Douglas says that he's going to kill you. I, I'm yeah. not sure. If you <laughs> donate $1,500, we'll kill you. There you go. You'll get <laughs> exactly. slaughtered by Shane Douglas in the ring or something like that. So uh, I don't, it's a pretty cool concept. As far as Kickstarters go, I don't know if they're going to make $30,000 in another uh, 23 days. That's no. kind of a tough they're not. It's very tough. I, it's a tough Kickstarter to get. It's but not going to happen. I, I, I really hope if they don't get this in the next twenty three days, uh, you know, I go, you know, put it. If you donate and they don't make their thirty thousand dollar goal, you don't. Your money doesn't go into it, so you don't have to worry about something being half funded or anything like exactly. that. Exactly. But a, I really it's right back at you. But I really hope these guys. Um, I don't know if they want to go for a lower one or what. Uh, but I think it's a really cool project, and I, I really hope they get the backing. Um, so Mayhem Nation, if you want to, it's zombies. God, we're in Pittsburgh. Come on. I mean, um, zombies and wrestling <laughs> put together two of the most popular things still right now. Exactly. Exactly. And this is the place to do something like this. So I hope it gets around and makes arounds. Uh, so, uh, go check that out and go at least check I mean, out. If this will help anybody, I even became a backer. Exactly. I put $25 exactly. of my own money into it. So yeah, you can put as low as a dollar, you know, whatever you can um, it's not playing video say. games for kids, but it's, it's still a pretty interesting cause. Uh, but, you know, go check it out. Um, and like I said, we'll, we'll tweet it out and everything again, probably. Um, and it, it, go check out the video. Check out uh, some of the RWA guys in the in the promo. Shane Douglas is in it. Um, and, and like I said, it's a pretty cool project. So. Brain busters. <laughs> <laughs> that was so, good, Bobby. Anyways, <laughs> um, what else we got here? Nothing. Farting in wrestling. <laughs> Show's over. No, Chachi's Show's ready to... over. Chachi's getting cut. Oh, uh, Natalia Nightfart. He's out. Yeah, um... There's no reason to talk about down. this. <laughs> you I hate you. Oh, You're boy. fired. Negative 5,000 points. 
I learned Chachi's not We're a fan of flashlights. See, Chachi, that's why you can't control the points, man. <laughs> why? Because you just you get on all unrealistic and you just take You're points. Too <laughs> You're too temperamental. You take man. away, you break down, Chachi. You don't build up, you break down. <laughs> points. Ass is no, the top no. Score. You hand out the points. I take away the points. It's a balance system. Uh, Everyone on the show is quick to hand out points. Mm-hmm. No one's quick to take them away. We're the faces. <laughs> Chachi's the heel. Exactly. You okay, are all I, reward. I you would be the heel. You guys are all reward. I'm yeah, analyzing. <laughs> it's nurturing the audience, Chachi. No, fuck them. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. You are the Try heel. To- I am deducting... 50 points from every audience member. But, but, now they're at negative 50. No, some of them had points. According oh, to okay. Sonic Screwjob, he had like 10,000 something, so. Sonic, Sonic, I, I have given him, he too. gets a lot of points yeah. in his emails. I get a lot of points too, huh? So. Bobby, I've gotten by giving Bobby points. It. Everybody earns it. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, I, listen, I, I, I understand that people have to earn points, but you mm-hmm. know what? If I feel the need, I'm gonna deduct points. But speaking of but, while Bobby's saying but, that, let's no talk about farting. Oh, let's not. <laughs> no, let's go on. Hey, it's so ridiculous. I, I'm sorry. No, we're just, hey, just paying oh, Riz, attention to them. Uh, Riz had a good article or, uh, from from uh, Mark Italian. Madden. Where where he talked about how this is the Red Rooster gimmick. This is a Terry Taylor gimmick, and uh, and Natalia should just leave. So uh, I agree. Interesting insight in in uh, his days there in WCW. That's linked over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Open Group. If you want to check that out, uh, yeah, that's where he put it. I'm sorry, we have so many places to put things. Uh, I mean, I admit, I laugh at every video I watch that happens with that because yeah. Santino cracks. Me yeah, out. Santino's the only thing that makes it funny. <laughs> but st- but still, it's such a it's such a ridiculous thing. It, it just feels like you know after you. And I, and I know I know WWE has some had less than you know had like something that would make a thirteen year old boy laugh. At, at I was going to say they have junior out. high writers right now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And speaking just, speaking of uh, Santino, his new YouTube show is the best on WWE. Have you guys YouTube. Have you guys been watching that stuff? I took yes, a, I took I, a crack I, at I a lot of it. I'm starting to like some of them. Really? Yeah. It, it, it's. Oh, well, okay, what do you guys think of the Road Dog and Josh Matthews ripping on old videos? It's cool to see the old that videos, was okay. but I feel like Botchamania does it better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it, it really is feel like I, I've I've seen all this before on Botchamania, and uh, exactly. you know, well, they, yeah, they're just hijacking concepts. I mean, fucking the Dolph Ziggler thing is just Tosh point out. Yeah, yeah, that's, exactly. Dolph exactly. Ziggler's is bad, and I like Dolph, but that, now, it's now, bad. now, give it well, nothing, almost nothing out of the gate works with WWE. Right. Yeah. Does that sound right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, everything is awkward and pushed at first, but everybody needs to find their flow. I want to say, give everything about five episodes. Yeah. See where it is in five episodes. Of course, it's going to suck the first week out of the game. Except for Santino. Except for Santino. Well, he, <laughs> you know, even his set well, just seemed really awkward. I thought this either. was good, though. Yeah, he, I mean, it, it was a little awkward. It was weird yeah. that uh, the Zack Ryder show was just a recap, but it kind of made sense. This is the first one a lot of people are going to find. Because it's on the actual official channel now, yeah. um, but it's interesting. I, I I like to see where it goes from here. Um, but I'm not, not I'm not going to write any of this stuff off right off the bat, except for maybe the Are You Serious, which I don't understand why they did Are You Serious when that's Zack Ryder's thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, he even tweeted about it. Yeah, that's a little he weird. He said, "Are you serious, bro?" Colt Cabana's a little pissed off about it though. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> he's he's uh, apparently that was his concept, which you know, five dollar wrestling. That's what they did. Mm-hmm. Was, was uh, which is also basically a MST three K. Yeah, type. which is yeah, which is like yeah. it's not a new concept, bro. Uh, it's uh, it, it, yeah. There's Botchamania out there. There's what what uh, Colt Cabana is doing. There's Mystery Science Theater that you're all fucking ripping it off from in the first place. Yeah. So, <laughs> riff tracks, you know. Yep. Um, so, it's not ripping off. It's honoring. Yeah. yeah, I mean it, it's no riff tracks and c- cinematic Titanic are honoring. Well, that, that's from a lot of the riff same tracks people. Is the same thing. Though. Yeah, riff tracks is yeah. the same guys without the Mystery Science Theater. Yeah, yeah, that's why they can honor it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that, there's still, I, I don't know. It's, it's not a a, a a copyrighted concept of no. any sort. So I mean, there's a bunch of people in the company. They, they, somebody's seen the video and done whatever. So. 
Anyways, but somebody else doing actually something original? Wrestling in India? I guess it's original. Um, including some familiar faces here. So we've been hearing a lot about, of course, a uh, friend of the show, Dave Lagana. We know that he's been sent off. To, he uh, got hired by TNA, sent off to India, work on that show. We've been hearing about a lot of really interesting names attached to the project over there. And here it is. And uh, big props to Matt Carlins, who mentioned that he was watching this on his iPad last night. Ring Ka King is the Indian promotion that TNA is putting together here. There's a, there's a bit of a video that's up on YouTube about it. Um, you some interviews and stuff, and I can't switch it. There it is. And you say, it's really TNA, um, but you missed a, a best and Scott Steiner over there. There's a, a Shima Zion and Alyssa Flash, which we just saw here earlier on this show. A, so many friends of the show. Yeah, Scott yeah. Steiner, Abyss. Uh, it, it's um, it's interesting. It's uh, it, it, it looks like there's Chava Guerrero there against Abyss. Wow. All they're missing is midgets. Exactly. I'm sure those are going to pop up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, there are no oh. Indian midges. But still, it, it, it's a uh, kind of <laughs> science. Kind of interesting to see. Uh, and of course, there's a few Indian wrestlers in there too, because I know they were trying to get some local talent involved with this as well. But of course, they're using a lot of TNA people. Um, a masterpiece is in there. I thought you were going to say Master P. Master <laughs> P is in there. Former WCW so. superstar, <laughs> Master P. <laughs> Make him say uh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, I'm really curious to see this. I, I really hope uh, we see a lot of it online here uh, and, and get a little taste of that and see, uh, you know, what, what TNA can do with did that thing. Just says participant. I have no idea. It did. I think <laughs> <laughs> over Chris Masters it said participant. <laughs> no, I'm laughing. At I think it's saying new service. Are you talking about his title or? Yeah, on the thing, when this, on, the CVV thing, it said participant. It says CVV, yeah, participant. All right. <laughs> Maybe that's just the title error. I don't know. Uh, but it looks interesting so far. I, I, I don't know how well the storylines will translate to us here in the States, but, um, but uh, if it's on, I guess it's English language from the looks of it. There's Matt Morgan. So, um, I don't know. It, and it's Giants. Cool. So you can't say we haven't been talking about alternative wrestling solutions for you this episode. Exactly. So. <laughs> oh, and Sonic Screwjob said there cannot be any midgets because of the large snake population over there. Oh, <laughs> swallow them whole. Swallow <laughs> them whole. There you go. Sonic, I think he was Sonic. talking about penises. Sonic. <laughs> wait, how many? Wow. Oh, wait. 20. Sonic Here's an entire 20. episode I just got sent on YouTube. <laughs> So there you go. <laughs> oh, and uh, that's why he was telling me about uh, there was like a Mickey. I think this is it here. Mickey James and Alyssa Flash, which is like the best women's wrestling he's seen in ever. So uh, in ever. There, this is episode three, and I guess it's widely available here. Is this an official channel? <sighs> yeah, it is. I think maybe. So <laughs> so there you go. You know, while we're at it, while we're talking about this, can somebody is there a good resource to watch FCW programming? Nope. Out there, FCW I, I'm putting sucks. That, I'm putting that Living out there. It, it's got a, yeah, I know nothing's as good as NXT, but still. Um, but let me know if, if does anybody post in full episodes officially unofficial? Yeah, sure, unofficially since it's not like you know it's in Florida. Um, Daily Motion or is it Daily Motion? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, but you know, if there's any anything good, let me know. Um, I, I really want to see some of them. I want to see what some of these guys are doing down there. I want to see Corey Graves. Nice, What's that? I said I want to see Corey Graves. Yeah, yeah. See all these Ring of Honor guys that got signed down there. You know, Chris Hero and whatever he's going to be here. See what Daily uh, Motion's on. Uh, oh, okay. Daily, Daily Motion's got it though. So. It's on Xbox. Yes, wow. it is. Yes, it is. I, you know, I've been watching a lot of that. Uh, although it is interesting, Xbox for the recommended often puts a lot of WWE that's definitely not up there legally. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to put that out there. He's like, "Hey, you oh, should watch. Microsoft. Hey, you, you should watch this according to everything that you watch." And you know, the stuff that I'm putting in my queue to watch on my TV is usually WWE stuff, like the official channel NXT and all that stuff. I watch SmackDown on my big screen now. I don't have cable, and it's fantastic. It's it's just as good. It feels like um, NXT, all that uh, new YouTube programming I watch on my Xbox full screen. So, um, so it's, it's interesting that it's recommending all the illegal stuff as well. But um, <laughs> hey, I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. It's I, not particular. 
<laughs> no, it isn't. Apparently, it's not. Great, uh, great algorithm there. Uh, so I'm putting this to my watch later, so I can watch it on my Xbox. Thanks to Mac. There you go. Uh, there you go. So that's all I have. Is there Fifty th- points to Matt Carlin. <laughs> <Carlin's. laughs> wait, were you giving? Hey, wait, you're you giving? You're the taker or waiter? I'm rewarding him. Good. But I might have gave a hundred, so that's where the balance yeah. is. Oh, are you going to give him a hundred? I maybe I will now. Fine deduction minus fifty points for Matt Carlin <laughs> for bringing up. <laughs> yeah, uh, we gotta give for you, bringing up. We're, in, no, no, for, we're gonna give you. We're for gonna, bringing up TNA. <laughs> we're gonna give, give you you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a towel I mean, maybe I'll grab the uh, power towel or something and you just like throw it into my shot when there's a penalty of, of points um anyways cards. give him cards yellow card yeah let me red oh. card people flag on the play <laughs> red card on that yellow note, card's guys, a warning red card's a deduction of points I think I'm about to lose my voice so we gotta get out of here DJ Lunchbox <laughs> yellow card yes. tell me what you learned from a uh and or uh, wrestling this week, or or Chachi's ramblings. <laughs> Chachi's, oh, what can't you learn from? There's so many lessons. Uh, to hey, what, hold on. I just want you to know that starting off, you have a yellow card. <laughs> Tread carefully. <laughs> just immediately yellow card. Yep. <laughs> just, he does. just for good measure. Just for Tread, good measure. Band CD. Tread carefully. Yellow okay, that makes bank. sense. Uh, well, as I was saying, what can't? There's so many lessons to be gleaned from <laughs> everything that Josh says. Uh, uh, what did I learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I um, I don't know. Uh, I learned that. Uh, uh, fuck! I didn't nothing. I didn't learn anything. It's just <laughs> I all reminded shit I already knew. Uneducational week from uh, from wrestling. Oh no! There we go. Okay, that's what I learned. Uh, the Undertaker uh, is Doctor Claw. <laughs> that's what I learned from wrestling this week. I still love that promo. I'm sorry. That was Cee-Lo. I'm all right with that. Uh, Chashi, what'd you learn? <laughs> you said go next. What's going on? I, I got caught up in the the, the chat room. Uh, Matt Carlin's is. Uh, is cursing me now and says he hopes the batteries of my wireless controller All run out caps, this weekend. Man. Oh, Because yeah. no. I uh, deducted 50 points for him. Make sure you stock up on batteries. But uh, <laughs> what I learned <laughs> from wrestling this week uh, <laughs> CM Punk can walk out, not say a word, and still give the best promo of the night with Chris Jericho, <laughs> while Undertaker cannot even show up and still give the worst. That wasn't a bad video package, though. It was like yeah, the whole thing was bad. The whole thing is bad. Uh, Wheels, what did you learn from wrestling this week? What did I learn from wrestling this week? I'm gonna be hate. So I'm gonna <laughs> say it this way. I learned that a ginger beating David <laughs> Otonga is a hate crime. Oh, you think about that, <laughs> Bobby. What did you learn? Um. I don't know if I can follow that one. <laughs> I learned uh-huh. I learned the uh, Jericho and CM Punk feud is going to be one hell of a ride. Mm-hmm. Uh, I also learned that, that we need to support Chachi Plays and Monster Haiku this yeah, week. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, we do. And watches! You got, and, and you got 50 points for promoting both. There you go. Points, and from guys. the chat room, points. Sonic Screwdriver. Points for- flying everywhere. Sonic Screwjob learned that the Miss is having a death perception problem, and our truth paid the price for it. My God. The that best thing is, that was bad. I won't remember any of these points next week when I actually have a board to break them down on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just start new. You have to set the board like directly behind you during the show or something. Right there? Yep. Right there? You just hold it up? Yep. Okay. Um, Riz also learned that he's going to beat Chachi's ass in Chachi Plays for kids. We're- Deduction. Uh, so the Seamus Otonga <laughs> match was like checkers? Ouch. Uh, oh, wow. I don't get that. What? <laughs> Red I, versus black? Okay. <laughs> Ginger versus oh, black? Yeah. Oh, I was I on get the right thing. So, I, okay, okay. It's like a thing. Good job. You beat me on that one, you bastard. You get 50 uh, points. Wow. Wow. In Not wrestling. Chinese. Okay, hold on. Time what? out. What, what, what? We got to fix this right now. What's going on? Okay. I'm trying to Listen, the show. no offense to you guys, but there are three people who are eligible to hand out points. Okay. <laughs> or remove points. Okay. 
that'd be Sorg. Nobody sees your finger. <laughs> that's Sorg. <laughs> that's me, and that's Lunchbox. Okay. Because we're here every week. Yep. And have also, been I've here. been handing out Lunchbox points right. uh, since like high school. You weren't here last week. Yeah, but. <laughs> I own, and you're trying to take the next two weeks yeah. off. I own 49 percent of the show. Yeah. If you want me to keep doing things for you for cheap prices, I'm gonna have to ask you to forget the fact. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyways, it's uh, the Riz also learned in wrestling that Atunga had some very silvery shoes. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, uh, so hey guys, it's so wrestling. Sorry, what did you learn? I, oh, sorry. Oh, Sorg, what did you oh. learn, Sorg? Oh, what? I learned something. Um, <laughs> shit. Um, da. <laughs> you didn't learn a lot. I'm gonna there. take this uh, moment to remind Matt that he has 50 points. Uh, SmackDown. Uh, such good wrestling. They have to bring half of it over on the Raw <laughs> to support them. <laughs> What the fuck? Seriously, I, they, they just threw me last night. They don't have enough to fill a whole show. I guess not. All those people. <laughs> hey guys, check us out wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Follow us on Twitter at Mayhem Show. Of course, you can email us at Good Times. Good Times. Bad Times. Good Times. It's at Bad Times. Com. You can give us a call at four one two two zero six WMS zero nine six. Seven O. Oh. Thank you very much. Uh, please check yeah. us out. The Google Hangouts, the Google Plus, the, the Facebook. Call us for Sorg on the, gets it. We're on, on Twitter. Oh, don't shoot Sorg. What? Don't, he's trying to shoot <laughs> you. <laughs> the uh, Twitters. Do it. Send the, us an email or the Sorg gets it. <laughs> we're on the Twitters. <laughs> um, God. Yeah, we're on the Twitters. We already talked about that. Google Plus, uh, Facebook, uh, Hangout. MySpace. What? MySpace. No. What? I have like a funny story. Space? We have to have that. Find us on Friendster. I have a <laughs> <laughs> link. Is some Follow link us in. on ICQ, AOL Holy is hell. Messenger, Angel um, Fire page. Wow. Hey, thanks Search everybody for, like for joining us. Page. It's been an amazing chat room tonight. It's been crazy. There's so much stuff that isn't even in the show that you just watched. Trust me. And we're going to be getting out there. Some of it's on the Gold app. Some of it will be other places. Keep an eye on SoyatronMedia.com for all that kind of information. And browse us on Nets- Netscape Navigator. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Find us on Gopher. Uh, <laughs> make sure you keyword Mayhem Show on Prodigy. And uh, we'll see check you guys in the Flash Cover week. Tripod page and get the hit counter and up. We'll see you guys next week when we optimize this video for a 24 bot pro uh, modem. Mayhem <laughs> out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.